Nearly 80% of women in the United States have uterine fibroids by the age of 50. The benign tumors are the leading cause for hysterectomy procedures. New technology at Mercy Hospital St. Louis provides an alternative. The investigational device targets fibroids without any incisions. So I'm rotating it so that I can stay in the, the uterus. To treat the fibroids, which are benign muscle tumors, we had 0.95 by 1.28. I'm always looking for something that's easier for patients. So the Sonata clinical trial, what's involved is there is an ultrasound probe at the tip of the device, and it's inserted in through the cervix into the uterine cavity. You're using an ultrasound probe inside the lining of the uterus, and from within that ultrasound probe, you're now applying energy through, we call it an array that it opens up into the fibroid. So when you're looking at it, and you're, you're, it's bizarre because you're scanning from inside the uterus and you're scanning 360. So you can get to all these fibroids. And so the, the ones that are anywhere around the cavity, we can treat. There's one. I don't know whether that's the one you're talking about. I like that one too. That's it. The introducer is inserted directly into the fibroid. Once it's in the fibroid and secures that fibroid, then the arms of the introducer come out, and this is where the RF energy, which we use to treat the fibroid, is delivered. The radio frequency literally heats the molecules in the, the tissue. So there's no, there's no heat being generated by the probe. It's the radio frequency energy is generated by the probe and it makes the molecules within the fibroid move so quickly that that generates the heat. And that's what radio frequency is all about. Once we ramp up to the 100 degrees centigrade, we're looking for an alternative to the treatment of heavy menstrual bleeding for women who are finished with childbearing. And the typical treatment for heavy menstrual bleeding is either something called an endometrial ablation where the lining of the uterus is treated and destroyed so that there is no subsequent bleeding or hysterectomy. Now hysterectomy obviously is a, is a more complicated procedure with a long recovery. What's been happening for those patients is they've, been all, they've all been having endometrial ablations and it works for a while and then you start bleeding again. Well, now you've started bleeding again. We can't sample the lining of the uterus because it's all stuck together, because it's like pouring super glue in the lining of your uterus. So now your only alternative is hysterectomy. So this is a much better option for women who have known fibroids. We know that the fibroids are causing the bleeding, and instead of subjecting them to an endometrial ablation, we'll ablate the fibroids. We can literally heat the fibroid to 95 degrees centigrade and what that does is it destroys the tissue. And you can see on the screen how the tissue changes. It's turning white as it's, as it's being heated. The red and green and the circles, that's specific to this procedure. So the, what it does is it gives you the area of treatment and then it gives you another centimeter beyond that area of treatment where you need to be sure that you're not near any structure that you want to do damage to. That's your safety zone. The green margin shows us where the outer edge of the uterus is. So now we're treating, we have another minute and 40 seconds. The patient treated is a patient who has multiple fibroids, as you see in this diagram. We'll literally put the probe in right here, identify each fibroid, and then treat them individually. Once the device is inserted in the uterus and the fibroid is identified, we deviate the ultrasound probe to now a 45 degree angle. At this point, the probe is introduced into the fibroid itself to hold it in place. Once it's held in place, then we can release the arms of the device through which the RF energy is introduced and the fibroid is then melted. Okay, so this treatment's over and we're gonna retract the device. It doesn't make it disappear, but it makes it change shape and it makes it get significantly smaller. So the women who have bleeding issues, it sh this should theoretically 
manage their bleeding issues. Because we made an initial treatment and softened the fibroid, the resistance is significantly less, and now we can go even deeper and do a secondary treatment to treat more of the fibroid. The patient will go home on the same day with a minimal recovery. Most women didn't even take any pain medication post-op. They, they had their procedure, they went home, we called them the next day, they were doing great. There we go. That's good. Yeah, that's great.